Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary carrier. To get this gun, you'll want to farm Judge Hightower over at Electro City. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to Electro City on Promethea, and we're going to be fighting the challenge enemy right over here, uh, known as Judge Hightower. So yeah, I'm going to head over, and I'll meet you guys when I get there. On your way over, you will find this save right here, so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right here. And now, you can spawn either here, or at a save station right over here. Um, the one over here has a vendor, so it's really your call. Alright, so we made it over, and before he spawns, you do have to kill two enemies. So one, and one guy over there. Two. And yeah, you can see he spawns in the door there. So he's gonna jump over. And he's second now. Oh, he's focused on my pet. Okay. There you are. Alright, so we didn't get it, so I'll keep farming. Oh, that might be it. Yep, there it is. Alright, let me clear out all the enemies and I'll be right back. We have the carrier. Damage, not bad. Accuracy handling, slightly above average. Reload time, not bad for an assault rifle. Fire rate, pretty average. And mag size, 33. Red text is, I have arrived. Phone is critical hit damage and weapon fire rate. And 5 times weapon zoom. This one is anointed, but we're not going to activate the anoint during the testing. Also, this gun can only be non-elemental. Alright, so the gun looks pretty good. It has a rounded top, as you can see here. And it also has a circular pattern. Yeah, not bad. This gun is pretty cool. So when you shoot it, it's going to shoot a homing shot, and it will bounce off one surface and go back at the enemy. Now, if it bounces twice, the bullet will despawn. So it can only bounce once. Also, it is fully auto, as you can see here. So you can just hold on a trigger and shoot off a bunch of homing shots. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 4, and the modifiers are neutral. Let's go ahead and push forward. Not bad at all. So this gun can be really good for flying enemies because normally they're kind of a pain to hit. Also, you can see when I shoot the enemy, the projectiles kind of home out and go for whoever they want. Um, it will not only focus on one enemy. Now, if I tag the enemy, let's go ahead and tag this guy. The starter shots will go for him, but the split shots will go for whoever's closest. Yeah, it does consume ammo really fast, so I gotta go back and buy ammo. Wow. You bet that's going in the video. Now, with the right setup, you could maybe boss with it too, so let's go ahead and go to Tron. Okay, it's not doing all that bad. Uh, it's definitely not the best damage for bossing, but it does get by. And you are dead. Awesome. Alright, final thoughts on the carrier. It is not a bad gun. It will clear out a big group of mobs efficiently, but for bossing, it's a little more involved. Now, this weapon really shines when you're fighting flying enemies like a rack or a death spear or whatever. You track them and then shoot at the sky and they will pretty much melt. Overall, it's a pretty solid choice, and I would recommend you guys pick it up and try it for yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.